Well, hello and welcome back. We're continuing our series of uh, basically this combo tutorial, SQL and Python, and we're getting deeper into this. We've got you know, a basic application working where we can, can copy some uh, tables and synchronize them and deal with the columns, the data, the uh, triggers, store procedures, functions, you know, all that good stuff. And now what I want to do is expand on this a little bit. Now we started, um, you know, cleaning this up a little bit. We got into this where we've got now this MySQL synchronized class. And what I want to do now is I'm going to pull a couple of things out to make this a little bit more uh, generic, I guess, uh, so that we can put a little more into our main script and um, not so much that's specific in our uh, you know, our class itself. One of the things we're going to add this time is we're going to have uh, we're going to take the database name for the source and the destination. Uh, this is something that will allow us at some point maybe even to do uh, from one database to another, uh, so it doesn't have to have the same database name. But more importantly, right now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and this is our little script. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create, uh, we're going to call it, uh, we'll call it databases. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a list of databases that we're going to actually synchronize. And let's do three of them. So we're going to have tutorial that we have always used. We're going to use, uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? Let's use uh, Giganator. Which is a nice little database there. And let's use, uh, I think I had another one. Oh, let's use H goals. It's a nice simple one. Uh, those are just because these are smaller databases. And so what we want to be able to do now is we're going to say uh, for DB, oops, in databases. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of the databases and synchronize each one of them. Now this may or may not be something that you need, uh, but if you're trying to do a server that's got uh, either, you know, maybe you've split your data into a couple database uh, data into a couple of different databases, or you've got like a you know like a dev server or something like that that you want to synchronize some data across, you know, beyond a single database. This is going to allow you to do it. And what we need to do here is we just uh, actually we don't even need that. So we're going to come in each time. We're going to do a MySQL synchronize. We're going to go ahead and set the database names. Uh, and here, both of them are equal to the same one, so it's pretty straightforward. And then we do have to come through here. There's a couple places where we used, like here, uh, before we sent the database name in. And we're just going to do, in both cases, we're just going to send that in. Uh, technically, we probably don't even need that because now we could use the databases, uh, database names that we've stored as parameters. So let's actually go look at that. Let me see, make sure. So let's look at missing triggers. Uh, triggers. So here we have the, we've got a source name and a destination name. What we can do is we can say source name equals self dot source database name and then destination name equals self dot destination db name and now we don't need those parameters at all so we come back to our main and that was for missing triggers we also have that for missing procedures and missing functions. So let's do that for each of those. So we've got less stuff we're having to pass around. Uh, missing procedures, missing functions. Missing procedures. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Let's go back to... Where is that? Missing functions. Missing triggers. Here we go. So we can actually clean these up pretty easy. And if we come up here to our missing procedures, uh, 
and paste and we're good there now uh, one of the things I need to do is I need to check to see if these databases even exist locally now what we could do is you know check in our source and say hey if we don't have a database that exists in the destination go ahead and create the database but we're gonna pass on that because it's sort of a uh, we could do it but right now we're not going to bother with that too much so we're going to go in and manually create those if we need to so uh, let's see if i can log into my database oops Oops, let me make sure our pass password is typed correctly. There we go. Show, if I do show databases. Okay, so here I have tutorial. I did not have Giganator H goals, so let's do that. Create database H goals. And so we're just going to pull those directly across Giganator. And let's go ahead and do our synchronized rows. Oh, and here we use the DB again. Uh, so let's go to sync rows. Where is sync rows? So it is the uh, destination database name, which is, uh, let's see, I think I used it here. Oh, there we go. I guess I could have just used it instead. So that's going to be a destination DB name. And let's see, let's make sure I use that right. Oh, because I just stepped on that name. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I may not need that in Synchros. I wonder why I sent that. I may not need it at all. So I'm going to drop the table, target tables. OK, so we're probably OK there. So let's see. So we go through each of these. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and just take all the rows. So we're going to run this through all the way now. Um, let's see. We come through. We're going to connect to the source. Um, and here's something else I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and create a settings file. And actually now, uh, instead of whoop, all the way up here, before what we were doing is we were just creating the configuration as it existed. And so we would come in here and um, we'd set all our values. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep this pretty simple. And from settings, I'm going to import the source config and the cart target config. So you go source config and then target config. I'm going to import those in, and then I'm going to send those into the connect. Now, technically now, I could do two different. Um, I could do one connect and then just pass back, uh, you know, assign out the uh, connector that comes back. But I'll keep it as source and destination just for... I don't know, cleanliness, understanding. And now we've got that. So we've got, we've extracted our setups into our configuration settings into a settings file. So we're going to come in, we're going to pull that in. Uh, what we could do is we could even pull the databases out. Uh, bases. And if I go to settings, I'll just push that up here. And so now you have everything actually extracted out into 
uh, a settings file, or at least a lot more of it. Now, what we're also going to have here is let's go ahead and do max rows. And we'll pull that out as well. So now there's just less we have to worry about. So now in here, you're starting to get something that's pretty darn clean uh, and is sort of a generic kind of script uh, that we have got created out, which is um, one of the things we wanted to run into here. Uh, here we go, generalize extract, command line parameters. Uh, we actually are going to pull those out into a settings file. Now let's go ahead and run this. And what we will see uh, actually, let me not sync the data. So let's do that first without, I'm just going to get rid of sync rows. I'm not going to use that right now. Now what we can do is we could actually pull little flags in and put the settings to be a whole series of flags, whether we do triggers, procedures, functions, indexes, and all that kind of good stuff. Right now, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to just create our database real quick. Uh, let's see. So this is main. And... Whoops. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, gosh, I didn't even manage to lose this. I managed to lose one of my imports. So now, there we go, there we go, and boom. So now, if we go look at uh, locally, go refresh this. Now let's just reconnect, because we probably need to. So now we can see that we have a uh, giganator that doesn't have any tables. Oh, interesting. And we probably have an H goals that maybe doesn't have any tables. Nope, it does not have any tables. So. Let's go see what we got here. Oh, failed to create index. Hmm. So for some reason, oh, probably because it's already there. So what we want to do in missing indexes is, oh, well, that says it should be already missing. So we've got something there that didn't quite work. Uh, but we did a try. So it came in. What did it do? Oh, interesting. So we come in, we do missing indexes for DB in databases. Let's do this. Um, print DB. And let's see what it does here. Yeah, so for some reason, index. Oh, we're missing something here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. It's because the database there, we have to change the database for each of those. Uh, so that's going to be, aha. So what we really want to do here is set the source config, which I think we can do here. So let's do, uh, source config. But first, what we want to do is we want to do source config um, let's see if we can do database equals db. 
and then we're just going to quit because we're going to have to update our database there. Oh, like that. Yeah, we can't assign that. So it's not a function call. Let's try that. There you go. So let's see, we need to set. So we've got to do a uh, dictionary key kind of thing here. And let's do this. Uh, let's see, Python set dictionary value. Oh, that's right. I think it's a get and a set assigning values. So, oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay because that is correct because that is the first. Uh, so let's go here. Uh, let's see, target config. Whoop, don't need that, don't need that. Now, let's take a look. And. So let's take a look at this again. Let's do it this way. Let's go to whoop, uh, settings. And let's just go ahead and get rid of that as the first one. OK, so now if we come in. And let's do this. OK, so let's do print DB. And we're just going to quit. So let's see how this works. Let's see what we got here. OK, so it does that. And then let's print uh, source config. And we've got our database has changed, so we should be good. So if we look at let's go to missing tables. In tables. Whoop. And we will look real quick. So it says here it's going to be print for a table that's in missing tables. Uh, for each missing table, get details. Well, we've got to get self.missing tables, which we do. So we do set missing tables. So we do compare tables. So let's do that. When we do set missing tables, let's just do this real quick. Uh, self dot source tables and target tables. Let's go look at that real quick. And we'll see. So there you go. So we have, oh, we have source and target flipped. Somehow we got source and target flipped. So we go here. Is that right? Uh, oh. That is flipped. So that's target. 
at source. It's amazing how that works out. So let's try that again. Uh, let's see. So now if we go into main and we run it. Wow, it works amazingly better when you get your settings configured properly. So now we're going to see that this is going to update. And we're starting to see all of our little tables show up. So I think we'll wrap it up this time. Um, I'll probably have to go back and edit a little bit, shorten this out a little bit. But we uh, have straightened that out in our settings. And now we're actually able to, to send multiple databases across and do our synchronizing. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I will sync rows. And um, we'll kick this off. And it'll probably be uh, pretty close to next time before this is all done anyways. And uh, we'll get all that stuff taken care of. And we're going to come back and we're probably going to dive into one of the more complicated things here, uh, dealing with enumerated values for a column, because that is something we've run into now a couple of times. And I want to make sure we get that one fixed. That being said, go out there and have yourself a great day, a great week, and we will talk to you next time.